Going live. You're live. <laughs> We've only got one person on right now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we've got to get further away now that there's two of us. And Flipper. My flip. flip loves Katie. She's probably going to end up over here on her shoulder. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to uh, this bi-weekly live episode. You nervous? No. <laughs> this is all being broadcast to YouTube world right now. No editing, live. Cool. Okay. Good thing there's only three people there. Yes, true. <laughs> so before we get into what I want to talk about tonight, I, I was going to tell you about this beforehand. So with the video, we're, we can't say the name of the thing that's happening right now. Because otherwise the video gets like... The beer thing? Demonetized. Yes, we can't say the beer thing. We can say the beer thing like that, but we can't say... The, the name of the beer thing. Why don't we just call it the beer thing? Yeah, let's call it the beer thing. We also can't use the V word. Okay. Right? V, I. Okay. Right? Let's call it the beer thing. Yeah. We all know what we're talking about. So the beer thing. That's what we're gonna <laughs> that's what we're gonna refer to in this video is the the craziness that's going on right now is because of the beer thing, right? Um that's good. I like that. I'm glad you're on because I, I wouldn't have thought of about that. <laughs> All right. Well, <clears throat> welcome, guys. Um, I need a haircut. I noticed that today, and all the barbers are closed. See? Look at that. I think I saw a thing on Facebook where they were like, don't worry about toilet paper. All of the, <laughs> yeah. the hair dye and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was looking today. I'm like, yeah, today's about the time that I get, uh, I get a haircut, and I... Definitely need one. So I'll cut your hair. Yes, Josie. They won't let let us use the uh, the term the beer thing, like the you know the name. Um, it's a little bit ridiculous. So not my last two videos, I think, but the two before that, when I when I said the the V word and the beer thing word, um, my videos got demonetized and everything. So um, I even went back and changed the titles and changed all the. The wording but it's just the if you actually say it in the video then that's a problem so I feel like you're behind me that's okay <laughs> stop moving back okay so um the word that you if you guys listen to the news listen to the radio it's like everything is unprecedented 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 right that's the word that everybody's using right now and uh i feel like you're gonna cross my legs and uh it is. I was talking with a friend today for about half an hour at work and um, at work, we've got a bunch of things happening as well too. So I, I work in the construction industry guys. Um, and I think everybody, really everybody is affected in some way or another with, with what's going on with the beer thing. Um, and it's, uh, it was hard to put into words today when I was talking with them about everything that's going on and the possible layoffs and things like that. And uh, it's definitely something to be worried about, I think. There's uh, a lot of craziness happening. And even if, and what I, what I was talking with him about today was, like, with our family, I'm not so worried about, about the actual beer thing affecting our health, unless there's something that we don't know or are not being told. But um, I'm more worried about all the panic and the shut, shutdowns and all that kind of stuff that's going on. <clears throat> How it's going to affect people mentally because the pandemic, I feel like. Don't say that. Oh. You can say that, I think, but don't say it again. Oh, the beer I'm not going to say like. Oh, just the, the beer thing. Okay, the beer thing. <laughs> no, but it's going to be more of an economic. <laughs> just call it the prime minister's wife thing. <laughs> it's it's going to be more of an econ economic problem yeah. when people are going to start to go crazy because they have lost jobs. They, um, you know, you can't get things in the store. Like if everybody's not working, who's going to still be making like the supplies and stuff? Yeah. Who's going to be at the factory to, you know, make the hand sanitizers and make the toilet paper and make the food and whatever, right? Like if everybody stops working, we got a problem. 
bigger than the virus itself. So. Oh, you said it. Ah. You can't say the V word. Okay, bigger than the thing. <laughs> the so, beer thing. Oh. One of the things that Josie asked was, um, was do you think it's going to be a boost for skip the dishes or kill business? Well, when you look at everything that's happened, like especially yesterday and today, if you watch everything that's closing down, um, I think, and obviously this is going to depend on how bad things get, but I think what's going to happen is, honestly, guys, I think we're moving towards a a worldwide, if we'll just we'll just say Canada wide shutdown. Um, in our industry, the in the in the building industry, a lot of home builders are closing their doors. Some are pressing on like business as as usual, but I think in the in the long run, the businesses or people that stay open, this is just my opinion. There's also that that side of it where it's like, well, why didn't you guys close the doors? Why didn't you guys follow the guidelines? Right. And of course, right now it's all optional except if you're in an industry that's been shut down, but um, you know, they may, they may get shunned. Is that the right word? I think if they don't comply or, or follow with everybody. So you see some of these big restaurants sh shutting down, like specifically relating to, to, to skip the dishes and other delivery services. You know, if, if uh, Earl shuts down, which happened a couple of days ago, um, why doesn't everybody else follow suit? You see, I was thinking about that earlier and in relation to like skip the dishes and delivery service and things like that. And these small little shops, these small little restaurants that only have maybe five employees or whatever, why wouldn't they stay open and just do delivery? Right? Well, I, that, that's what most of them are doing. So, and then that just makes, you know, skip and all of the rest yeah. of them more booming because now they've got more business because mm -hmm. more people are going to be ordering if they want to eat at those places yeah. and they know that they're open. So you know that you can't go in and sit down and eat, but you can order it and have it delivered to your house. I mean, you're going to probably do that and you're still not, you know, you can keep your distance from people, <laughs> yeah. and like, you know, cause you're not sitting in a confined area and whatnot. Yeah. So I, I think, I mean, for this type of business, it might be a good thing as long as this, places stay open yeah and um you know that brings up one of the other things i wanted to talk about too was um so my past eight videos i think um i was accepting every single order now about halfway through that um accepting every order um test i missed one order and i dropped from 100 percent down to 90 percent and um, that made a huge difference. So I was super slow until I got it back up to 100% and then I was hopping busy. And in my last video, which was um, um, not the video about how much I earned in my first month of monetization, but the one before that, um, again, I, I didn't accept an order. And as soon as I didn't accept the order and dropped down to 90%, it was super slow. And I've also, if you like, we've got different Facebook groups and things like that. Lots of people are talking about how slow it's been for them. And some people are saying it's busy. Like my shift on Saturday was super busy, right? I was at 100% and um, that's the shift. And then as soon as I, oh no, that's not the shift. What day is it today? <laughs> it's Wednesday. Wednesday. I think that's the shift. I can't remember. I don't know what day it is because <laughs> my kids aren't doing anything now. <laughs> but anyways, so... <laughs> So I think, I guess with my experiment, guys, the uh, the acceptance rating does make a huge difference. Um, I can't remember the fellow's name, but uh, MK something. Um, he said him and his friends did a test where they accepted every single order. And uh, basically the way they named it was Skip the Dishes gives all the orders to the 100 percenters first. And then it drops down to the 90 percenters and then to the 80 percenters. And if there's anything left over, it's fed to everybody's except uh, whose acceptance rating is below uh, 80 percent. So um, if you want to stay busy, you basically have to accept every order, even the stupid ones. Because I turned down a Den Denny's order and it was stupid order. Like Denny's by Chinook Center when I was all the way in the south. It was insane. So I couldn't accept it. All right. Um, <laughs> Josie says, I watch, I've got a skip driver bringing me a sub from Subway. So is that um, um, 
contactless delivery or are you going to take it out of his hand? Um, <laughs> just tell him to leave it at the door and run. They're allowed to, right? Not really? Yeah, my last my last shift, I felt like I was doing Nikki Nikki Nine Door. It was so weird. I was down in Cranston and I pulled into one of those houses with the you know the driveway and you can like pull up to the front house. And I'm I'm sitting there and I put it on their doorstep and rang the doorbell and I like ran back to the car and drove away before I did anything because it was just felt, <laughs> felt weird, right? You're sitting there watching them like open the door and stare at you. It's just weird. Um, is it like really? It's that bad? Is what that bad? Is the beer thing really like people? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, Raider Rich watching from San Francisco Bay Area in Cal in California. Uh, I do DoorDash here. I'm a fan of your channel. Thank you. Uh, it's actually been pretty busy here. I'm loving the no contact deliveries. Yeah, it's um, to go <laughs> along with that. It's actually nice. Just drop the stuff on their doorway and ring the doorbell and go. It's definitely nice. Do they do they ask for that? Like, is it in? The um, yeah, skip the dishes and your order. Yeah, just say um, just leave the order or whatever. Um, yes, the bird is definitely vocalizing its jealousy. <laughs> There's Flipper. That's our bare-eyed cockatoo, and she absolutely loves Katie. She's a ham. Yeah, she doesn't talk much, but. Uh, She's quite a personality. <laughs> She'd like now she'll cut. just cuddle. Uh, <laughs> Chicken Ray, I've got several no contacts today. I think that's going to be more popular for sure. My last shift, I got quite a few of those. Um, Mike Sand, hey, what's the call-in number? <laughs> nice. Contactless, of course. Yes, Josie. That's what I figured. Um, yeah, I was at work today, actually, and uh, obviously... Well, I shouldn't say obviously because maybe I'll get laid off soon. Um, but uh, I was at work today, and and the the can like our doors are all locked at my office, and um, the Canada Post guy came, and uh, I ran to the door to open it for him, and handed him the stack of mail, and took the couple things he had for us, and he's like, oh yeah, just tomorrow, just if you guys can set a box out, that's what we're recommending to all of our customers, just so we can not have contact during the mail delivery. Cause they take our mail and then they give us our mail. What's the difference? I don't know. Like somebody's still touching it. It's not like, yeah, I it's know. not like you're shaking hands and like giving each other a big kiss or something. <laughs> uh, Patrick McNally in my area in the, in the WI, the small restaurants are really keeping me going with DoorDash. That's good. I'm glad they're staying busy. Um, I'm sure that, uh, yeah, right. I'm sure now she's going to come back. I'm sure that uh, the restaurant industry is definitely feeling it. You know, when you think about, yeah, they're, they're offering curbside pickup. Some of them are like the brew house is offering curbside pickup um, and also skip as well too. But I mean, you look at how many people are typically there on, on an evening and they're probably, it's probably has to be down 75%. So well, I signed a petition today to for the banks to put a put like a a stop on mortgage and rent and whatever. Just because, yeah. I mean, if people aren't working at their day jobs or whatnot, um, how are you supposed to pay the bills and how are you supposed to worry about that if you look at these big restaurants that aren't getting the yeah. Everybody. Everybody. Like it's everybody. Like they yeah. should really just across the board, you know, no I my face. I know I'm trying not to catch my eye. <laughs> <It's itchy. laughs> um, but across the board, like the rent in some of these places, even on a small, tiny little place is ten, twelve thousand dollars a month, let alone a big like the brew house, I can imagine there. Yeah. You know, well, our our province expensive. today came out and said they're gonna They've instructed, I think, the utilities to defer payments. Right, defer payments. But the thing about deferring payments is you're paying for it eventually. So right. if they de defer payments for six months, you're still having to pay for it, but it's no, in six I know, months, I right? know, I know. But like so, for your mortgage payment or whatever, they would just maybe stop the payments for six months and then start them up again and you just keep going, right? Yeah, it's like not it, like extends, it extends, it extends the your mortgage, mortgage by six yeah. months or whatever. And then... Um, yeah, so that you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. That time or 
And I think if it gets worse, that stuff's definitely going to happen. I mean, it has to happen. Otherwise, we're going to run, go into an economic meltdown. At, yeah, what are people going to do? Like, yeah. what are the banks going to do? They can't take everybody's house. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Maybe they can. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Stacy, how are you? Thanks for logging on. Uh, Nathan asked, are you multitasking with Door, DoorDash and Skip at the same time? So my la last shift last night, which was actually a super slow shift, but I will release a video on it. Um, I did DoorDash and Skip at the same time. So now that I'm not doing uh, the Skip the Dishes, Accept Every Order, then I, uh, I'll, I'll do DoorDash as well too. So um, Emery said, I was on shift today and thought, what if I'm a spreader of the virus? You can be healthy, but still pass it on to others. Yeah, that's definitely true. Well, that's the thing. Like, you know, they're worried about people having no contact with each other, but I think it, you know, the beer thing can still live on. <laughs> I, I'm not, I don't know that hundred percent, but I think I did read it somewhere. Somebody told me that for a few hours or whatnot, um, that, you know, you still have to be careful. I have a package here from China that, I haven't opened yet because I'm waiting for the, you know. <laughs> I came home yesterday and asked her, what's what's in the package? She's like, I don't know. It's from China. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's opening it because we're like, I have this vision of like spores going everywhere or something. Oh <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I'll, I'll get to some of the thoughts here that I had over this past uh, couple weeks. Um. So one of the things that was brought up um, about a year ago, well, roughly a year ago, um, when I first started my channel and I was getting orders and I was busy and other people weren't, is uh, and you, some of you guys that have been watching since the beginning will remember this, but somebody called me a, a shill. <laughs> a shill. And I actually had no idea what that even meant. But basically, I guess you can call it an undercover agent is the best way to put it. So... Um, for who? For skip the dishes. So somebody thought I was like the undercover like agent. Skip the dishes hired me to put together a YouTube channel so they could give me really good orders and I could show how amazing it was to do skip the dishes. That's what that's what somebody thought. Would they pay you more to do that? Maybe. Oh, that'd be a good Let's idea. Do it. Then. I should contact you them. Should. Except they don't like my channel <laughs> because they shut me down or they give me the hand slap. <laughs> um, so, anyways, guys, I'm not a, I'm not a shill for skip the dishes. But um, one thing, one thing in all this uh, uh, talking about accepting every single order with Skip the Dishes that I kind of uh, talked a little bit about on our Facebook group, the lighter side, is um, I don't think fighting back will get get us anywhere, right? So if you guys are, you know, sending emails to Skip the Dishes, that's awesome. Congratulations, that's great. But you can imagine the number of drivers they have. We'll just say worldwide or in North America. Um, they've got lots of options, right? So if there's a group of a thousand of us that decide, hey, we're not going to drive for Skip the Dishes anymore, um, they, they don't care, right? They're, we're independent contractors. There's always going to be a, a probably a, a decent amount of drivers that are driving for them unless they do something really stupid. But um, anyways, the, I guess the point I'm trying to make is fighting back is not going to uh, get you anywhere um, except frustrated with the system, right? And uh, I'm, I'm, I try to be a fairly positive person in everything I do, you know, even going through this whole, uh, if you're just tuning in, we're not calling it the V word, we're calling it the beer thing, right? We're not allowed to use its word or its name or anything like that. So it's called the beer thing. Um, you know, even with this beer thing and everything going on in the world, there's got to be some positivity that we can find somewhere, right? So, um, and- I spend a lot more time with my- yeah. Kids in the last Absolutely. few days. Then we spend a lot less money. Oh, heck yeah. Like <laughs> we're just going out to buy anything. Oh yeah. We were just talking about, um, we were just talking about that earlier today. We had a, a conversation earlier today when some stuff happened and it's like, we're not driving anywhere. Or I, I'm going to work, but they're not driving anywhere, driving the kids all over the place, driving them to activities. So we're spending a lot less money on gas, even though it's really cheap right now. Um, kids activities are all canceled. School's all canceled. All the, all the things, field trips and stuff they had scheduled is, is all canceled. All the trips, so. all the, 
it's insane. Yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. It is pretty wild. Um, let's see. Is it busy at this time uh, with the beer thing? Um, I think so. Not for me yesterday, but my acceptance rating was at 90%. So I'm kind of attesting it to that. I know some people are fairly busy, but um, I guess we'll see. I've got another shift scheduled tomorrow and uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, yesterday's shift was super slow. Saturday was really busy, but a lot has happened between Saturday and yesterday, Tuesday. I mean, every single day things are changing. So, and they're changing really quickly. That's why they're lowering the transit fee. Yep. Um, I think. What, what is that <laughs> hey, baby girl. Uh, awesome. Gas was 63 cents today. I heard at Costco. Crazy. That's crazy. The cheapest, I, I think I've, I, I don't know what it is at Costco here in Calgary. Um, I know Stacy is in, in Red Deer. Um, but I know in Calgary, that I think the, the cheapest I've seen gas at a normal gas station is like 76 cents I saw today. But I think at Costco, they're in the 60s for sure. So Chicken Ray said, DoorDash orders are down since everyone spent their money on toilet paper. <laughs> There's yeah. no more toilet paper left to spend money on. Nice. That's awesome. That's insane. I think we're going to put that person in a timeout. Um, my skipper just arrived. Yum, yum. Christina says it's busy tonight. That's cool. So who knows? Maybe last night was just because my, my acceptance rating. I was actually a little bit confused when I was on shift two, and I maybe confused isn't the right word, but I logged into skip. I was trying to get into DoorDash, got into DoorDash, but I was doing a skip order and then I, I had to decline all my, my DoorDash orders. And then as soon as I declined all the DoorDash orders, there was I think four that I declined. Um, I didn't get any more DoorDash orders the rest of the night. So it was like this little tiny window of, of being busy, but I started at uh, 615, I think. So it was a kind of a weird late shift, but uh, anyways. Um, yeah. So other things that I was, talking or thinking about, so not giving up on DoorDash. Some of you guys were asking if I've given up on DoorDash. Um, during my last eight shifts, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't do any DoorDash stuff just because uh, I didn't want to interfere with the skip numbers. So accepting every order is really, really tough to commit to that when you are also accepting random DoorDash orders. So that's why I wasn't doing any DoorDash. That's why I wasn't, uh, logged into DoorDash and uh, but now I'm logging back into DoorDash when I'm when I'm able to so <coughs> excuse me Josie's having Mr. Sub <coughs> Mr. Sub in years no I know is it actually Mr. Sub or is it Subway no there's because it's sub. I know the only Mr. Sub I know of is on uh, 16th Avenue and there's like the the wooden TP house. That's where Mr. Sub is located. I'm sure there's others, but <clears throat> there's not, <clears throat> not very many of them. No guys, my cough is just because I drank water wrong. It's not the not the <laughs> not the beer virus. I almost said it. <clears throat> I almost said it. I almost said it. Nathan, I accept all skip orders and hope I get DoorDash going in the same direction. Um, do you ever worry that someone will look in the window behind you while you're streaming? No, no. Our neighbor's house, which is right beside us, they're, they're, back, a little bit. they're back a little bit. And then all those other people, whatever, they can pound sand. Um, I don't really like them very much. <laughs> not, not her. It's not three-dimensional <laughs> when you're pointing on the camera, but them very much. <laughs> Our neighbors right beside us, they're awesome. But the people over there, no, not so much. There's a story with that. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, McLeod Trail, that's right. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Does your cough worry you? No, because it was just because my water went down the wrong tube. That's all, that's all it is. Um, so, what else? What? 
Uh, just reading. Just reading all the comments. <laughs> Somebody walking into the window and peeking in. No, they. Oh, uh, I close all my blinds. This is like <laughs> yeah, this is a little odd for us. Uh, like as soon as the <clears throat> sun goes down and you know it gets lighter inside than it is outside, all the blinds are yeah. shut because. But like if, if somebody was peeking in here, they'd have to be about 12 feet tall. So yeah, they want the story of the bad neighbor. <laughs> nice. All right. So they were crazy. So here's the story. So we, <clears throat> Katie, Katie signed up for Rover a while ago. And there's a few dogs that we look after on a regular basis. One of them is named Ruble. We should actually pull up Ruble's picture. You have that funny right. picture of him? Yeah, pull up his funny picture. He's he's awesome. He's huge. So you don't Luna's, want to come to our house when oh, yeah. he's here. He will eat you. And he's like super protective of of Katie. Everybody, all the animals love her. So, anyways, Luna's Luna's like a normal size lab, like 60, 70, 80 pounds, something like that. Ruble's back is higher than Luna's head, and he's a huge dog, but he's super friendly, really, really nice. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> this is from his uh his Halloween his costume. Yeah, that was at Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> but he's so awesome. And uh, <clears throat> him and Luna get along really well. This is how That's he fun. sits on the on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, so we were looking after Ruble, and we've got a dog run beside our house. So the dogs can go in the garage, they can live in the garage, and they can walk in and out of the, the garage. Okay, wait. I have to show this one. That's <laughs> Luna. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I think you were out that day, right? He was he was in the dog run for like an hour maybe because mm -hmm. I had to go get the girls and come home and yeah. whatever. I didn't want to leave him in the house. I didn't want to leave him outside or put him in his kennel. So I just left him in the <clears> dog run so he could come in and out. So I was, I was taxing the girls back and forth that night and – then I was on my way home from dropping them off at dance and I pull up to the, the house and I think Vienna and, and Kaya were both with me, pull up to the house and there's this kid standing in our driveway. All the lights are off. There's a kid standing in the driveway taking a picture of the front of our house. I was like, that's really weird. And as I pulled the car up to the driveway, she turns and looks at me and, and runs away to the van. And I know where the van comes from because we, we know our neighbors and I mean, you see them and you live by them for eight or nine years, right? So we know who they are. Anyway, so I told the kids to go inside. The van pulls away and comes down the street and I know where they're going. So kids go inside. I back the car up and I go to this person's house, our neighbor's house. And uh, anyway, she sees me come in front of her house. So she hops in her other vehicle and follows me back to my house. And it's like, they're right here, like they're right behind us. Anyway, she pulls into our neighbor's driveway and she gets out and she she's shaking. And I'm not mad at all. I'm just like, what what's going on? What are you doing? And she's losing her mind because she's having this, this meltdown because her our dog was barking. Our, our dog that we we're looking at, looking after, Ruble was barking. And, um, I mean, that's what he was doing. It's not, I think it was maybe eight or nine o'clock at night, somewhere around yeah, there, maybe even <laughs> earlier. It, it wasn't was, super late. It's like between seven and eight, somewhere in there. And yes, I get it. I'm not a fan of barking dogs either. But um, anyway, she she's like, I'm trying to put my kids to bed and they can't go to sleep. And they've been, they've been, your dog's been barking all day. And, and then she starts bringing up like this, they've been locked outside all day. And I said, hold on a second. Been, I was home all yeah. day. But I'm like, hold on a second. You can see our dogs over there, like, because they can see our dog run, which is right behind us. And I was like, you know that our dogs haven't been outside all day. And secondly, they can go in and out of the garage as they please. And the garage is heated nice and warm. So it's not like some sort of animal rights violation here. Anyways, so that's all fine and dandy. And I told her, I'm like, you know what? Maybe next time, instead of like taking a picture of our house and planning to call the city and all that kind of stuff, maybe just come knock on our door. It's that easy, right? And stuff like that, and she knows this stuff like, and this pisses you off too, but stuff like that pisses me off more than anything in this world. Maybe there's a lot of things that piss me off more than that, but that's just a figure of speech, right? Like when we first moved into this house, we were, 
a couple years went by and we were planting our trees and stuff like that. I trimmed the tree, threw the clippings on the other side of the fence, and we got a, a letter in the mail saying, please remove the whatever, right? And that just pissed me off because the neighbor that complained, whoever it was, couldn't just come and knock on my door and say, hey, can you move those things? And I get it. There's conflict and all that stuff and people don't like that, but it drives me nuts. The passive aggressiveness. Yeah. Gets rid of the whole community and friendly and all that kind of stuff for me. So yeah. that's the story. Oh, and to top it all off, about a week ago, I got a letter in the mail from the city of Calgary saying there was a complaint about your dogs barking. If a report's given again, it's like a hundred or two hundred dollar fine. They gave a list of all the, the things like dogs are never allowed to bark. Um, as per the city bylaws, if you need training, here's a list of training and all this kind of stuff and recommendations. It was quite frustrating. Anyways, I ripped it up and threw it away. <laughs> um, Should I tell them what I wanted to do? Raider Rich, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> Uh, I'm on my third shift today. It took an hour and a half to get the first shift going 45 minutes for the second and almost half an hour for the third. Yeah. So I'm assuming that means it's been fairly slow. Uh, what's the beer problem you keep referring to? The C. Starts with a C. Oh. A B. <laughs> first D word C. I. B. D. Dash. <laughs> one. Nine. If you're just joining us, we're not allowed on YouTube. We're not allowed. Well, we can say it, but our videos get demonetized. Um, so if you say anything to do with the V word, uh, if you say the C word, like the, the, the VC, which we're calling the beer thing, uh, your videos demonetized. So that's why. Um, he looks like a Mastiff. He's, I don't know what he's across with. His, his head is really wide. Like it's almost like a pit bull head. But mm. like I'm just I'm just saying that because that's like in reference to a size. But yeah, bull mastiff. I've heard people say that too. Like he's brindle. He's just a mix. They thought he would be about the same ah. size as Luna. Mm -hmm. And they're like, he's nope. huge. <laughs> <laughs> he's huge. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. Um. Yeah, and I don't know weight wise. We haven't weighed him, but he's probably he's got to be 120 pounds, I think. Or more. Or more, yeah. We should he weigh can, him next time. When he plays tug, you could sit on the couch and he can pull you <laughs> and the, and like the chair across the room. <laughs> William, how are you? We are doing good. We are doing good. <clears throat> Somebody <clears throat> said something about hand sanitizer. Yeah. Skip, give us some damn hand sanitizer. I know DoorDash is doing it, I think, to the preferred drivers. But no no hand sanitizer from Skip. Um, this old helmet. Well, why did you put that neighbor into the position to where they had to choose how to address it? I don't really understand your question, but... Um, didn't put them in any, in any position. They didn't like the barking dog, so oh well. It was the first time ever. Yeah, exactly. That's why I live in a downtown condo. Yeah, no kidding. I should skip to give us danger pay. Yeah, almost, hey? Um, so what are we doing to combat the, cr the beer thing? Um, well... What's asleep? What are we doing to combat the beer thing? We are, uh, Katie and the kids are staying home. Not really going anywhere. A lot of Netflix. <laughs> A lot of Netflix and chill. <laughs> Actually, the, the uh, we've got three girls, and you've probably seen them on the videos. Um, one's in elementary, one's in junior high, one's in high school. So the teachers right now are are getting all of their lesson plans and things together so that we can actually do homeschooling with them. Yay. That's going to be so much fun. Are you saying that sarcastically? Yeah. Why? Because. Because <laughs> you don't know how to do new math? 
No. <laughs> my one plus one equals doesn't equal two. It equals a whole long all list that of stuff, things, right? Um, no, but our high school daughter has been doing homework ever since she's been yeah. off. So she's they they've been giving them stuff through. Um, whatever their school online thing online things. So she's been working on that. But um, I think, and my youngest daughter did a dance lesson today, a virtual dance lesson with her class. They were all on zoom mm -hmm. together and did an hour class. So that's good. Yeah. And our, um, so the, the office that I work in, it's uh, basically locked down. So all of our normal staff that look after the sites, um, they're not allowed to come to the office anymore. Our office is locked down. Um, so that all the doors are locked. And uh, basically we're all like in our own little quadrants in the building. And uh, we're practicing social distancing, I think is the term that people are using. And uh, if we need anything from anybody in the building, we use the phone versus walking to their office. Um, my number's on the front door, so if people come to the door and, and need anything, then they just send me a text or call me. We've got a warehouse in our building, so uh, people will pick up orders on a sort of regular basis of building supplies, and uh, they have the manager that looks after the warehouse, and they've got his number. So when they need something, that's Nick, when they need something, they just text the order to him and they're outside, open, have their van or truck open and Nick just loads it into their thing and she, she doesn't know about any of this stuff yet. So we haven't really talked about all this. And, but we uh, can walk into the store and we're like right next to the person at the grocery store, yeah. touching all the same like keypads and whatever, but we're worried about our mail. Yeah. And I, I, I get it. I mean, they're trying to slow the curve. Oh, totally, right? totally. I mean. And the whole point of, and we, we've talked about this, the whole point of slowing the curve is, so the curve is like this. If the curve goes like this, our um, healthcare system, our health, healthcare system gets overwhelmed, it. right? Yeah. yeah. We don't have enough resources, yeah, enough exactly. doctors, enough space, enough any of that, right? And and I read mm -hmm. in um, that Italy was even, their doctors were having to choose who they gave life support to. Yeah, And I don't think anybody should be in that position to decide, okay, there's these two people. Who do I give life support to? Right? Well, just, just, just today they had uh, the new deaths in Italy were 400 and something today in the past 24 hours. So what, it's crazy. Does China have something against Italy or what? I don't know. Don't know. So... Josie said she can hook you up with uh, some Star Trek Picard episodes if you're bored. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right up her alley. That sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> you might catch her watching Star Wars first. <laughs> we, we just watched the Divergent series. That's what we did yesterday and today. Oh, uh, Jay's Tube TV. I just got bit by a dog twice delivering for Skip on Saturday. How the heck did that happen? Dang. That's brutal. Northwest, hello there. Nice to see you guys today. Today was a good day for Skip for me. Lots of orders. Yeah, we're doing good. That's cool that you, uh, you got lots of orders. That's good. I've heard two completely different sides of that. So um, it's definitely interesting um, to, uh, to hear that. William Hughes, I can't repeat your comment because it's got the, the beer word in it. Sorry. Uh, working at UPS, I can tell you we are not shutting down anytime soon. I would imagine so. Uh, it's been busy like crazy. Tons of toilet paper orders and water. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got some protein powder today from Amazon, which was fun. It's nice being able to order that stuff online. So, I Ryan... Heard dishwashing tabs from Amazon because I, I didn't feel like going to the store to get them. Well, it's free shipping. It's totally free shipping. As long shipping. as it's the same price. I It was cheaper. Yeah. It was cheaper on Amazon than at Superstore. I checked because I'm kind of cheap. So if I could get it cheaper <laughs> at Superstore, I'd go to Superstore. Because some stuff's not. Like when I go on not. there and like in my, my RC plane stuff, if I go on there and type in something that I'm looking for just to check, uh, there's like this controller thing that I could probably buy.
from Taiwan for probably 40 or $50. And it just popped up in my feed somehow. And it was like $900. Oh yeah. I don't understand like, why that happens. Like, it's mental. Yeah. So, but for the normal stuff, it's, I think you can get it generally the same price right now. Yeah. I like shopping. I like shopping to support people. And when I go to the grocery store, I won't use the self checkout line. I'll, I'll generally try and, and use the, the, the people manned line, but, uh, oh, no. I did Christmas all by Amazon. Yeah. It was fantastic. Ryan's deliveries TV. What's up? <clears throat> um, Amazon just apparently hired a thousand people, but only delivering medical items and such. Yeah. I've heard that too. I keep touching my face. How does that make you feel, honey? I don't care. Do you want me to touch your face? No. It would drive him nuts. Yeah. I just washed my hands though before we started. Stacy said, was reading an article and the reason the death toll is so high in Europe is there's lots of seniors compared to other areas. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I saw that. You sent it to me. Thank you. Molson Canadian, Michelob, Molson Canadian, yes, Coors, absolutely. Um, what else? I think that's it, guys. I mean, if you have some questions, ask away. But uh, that's all I had prepared for tonight. I mean, obviously, the everything going on in our world is absolutely mental. Um, it's crazy, it really is. It's uh, <laughs> when I release my next video tomorrow. Um, there'll be some funny bits in there. I'll just, I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to give you anything else, but uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. So there'll be some funny bits in there as I was driving around yesterday and it was completely dead everywhere. I, I don't want to say anymore. So she doesn't even know. Keep talking. I need to get some water. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Questions. I don't know if I can answer them, but. <clears throat> Give her some hard ones. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what you can do here. I have a no, question I can't for answer you. that one. Why is your husband so good looking? <laughs> no answer? I don't know. You're just born that way. Oh, baby. I was born that way. <laughs> no matter better today. What's the most crazy experience? Chapstick time. What's the most crazy experience or crazy thing you have seen doing skip? Holy. And how many bags does skip give you? Where's that one? Right there. Four men. Oh, how many bags does Skip you give you? Um, Skip gives you two bags. The pizza bag, which is like a pizza bag, like the pizza bag. It's just, it, it is what it is. Can't explain it. Skinny, square bag. Uh, then they give you the, the regular Skip the Dishes bag, which you'd see some drivers that have the black bags. And uh, those are the older bags. The newer bags, as of like a year and a bit ago, uh, they're like the dark blue, the navy, and, and red bags. So they give you two bags, really, really nice bags. Well, you, you buy them. You don't get them. But, um, yeah, two bags. So um, what's the most crazy experience or crazy thing you have seen doing Skip the Dishes? I keep going back to this one. I think it's got to be – it's probably got to be that night that we had uh, the blizzard in April of 2019 – there's a three-part shift out there um, that, or three-part video out there of me doing that shift. It was hilarious. Um, there's been so many things doing Skip the Dishes. I'll think about that one and think if I can think of any fun ones. Uh, what's the secret of a happy marriage? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's a loaded question. <laughs> yeah, what is it, honey? <laughs> um so about us, we uh, we met in high school in grade, grade 10, grade 10 English, English class. class. So this, this maybe isn't answering your question, but I just want to give you guys some background first. Um, so we met in grade 10. We've been together basically ever since. Uh, we got married. So that was 1995. We got married in 2001, and we uh, moved in together in um, 19... 
98-ish, because we graduated in 1997 from high school. So around there, I can't remember. But um, so we've been together for a long time, right? It's been uh, 25 years. So uh, we know a lot about each other. And um, personality-wise, it's uh, we're, there's a lot of things about us that are very different, I think. Um, we're not, we're not heavy communicators. So if we, I think if we, <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> I, I, funny. I'm just waiting for you to see what you say. <laughs> I think if we never like talk to each other for a week, we would be okay. Right. I think there's, you just, yeah. Like and I'm not saying that's a good thing. That's, that's not the point of my story. No, that's not the point. I think. I think that we're just, we just know the other person so yeah. well and that, um, and we don't yell and scream at each other. I think yeah. If we're having an argument, it never gets to the point where it's like screaming and yelling and whatever, like very seldom has it ever. Yeah. And that, like, you know what, that actually brings up, I think my answer to this question. So my answer to this question is it takes work. Mm -hmm. um, it's never going to be perfect. You know, the stuff you see on TV is not true. Uh, the stuff you may have in your mind because of impressions that have been given to you on TV and things like that are not true. Um, it definitely takes work. We haven't had this perfect marriage. Uh, we have had times in the past when we've yelled at each other and like, and there's been tears and anger and fighting and all that kind of stuff, but it takes work. So, you know, if you really want to work on a relationship, um, I think in this day and age, people give up too easy. Mm -hmm. I think that's the number one thing is they give up too easy and uh, you owe it to each other, I think, and also your family if there is family involved, like kids, um, but also extended family as well, too. You guys, you know, you, you owe it to each other not to give up so easy. So we, we have gone to counseling. We've taken marriage courses, lots of different things. And um, more or less to just stay strong and, mm -hmm. and stay strong together. I mean, I wouldn't say if you have if you were in a relationship that where somebody was abusive. Yeah. I mean, that's different, right? Excuse because, me. you know, I don't necessarily think that's, that's not a yeah. good situation to be in either way. Right. So, yeah. but if you're just disagreeing over something or you're just having a bad day or somebody's whatever hormonal or whatever the case may be, right. <laughs> Well, it, it, you sorry. need to just work it out and, and find those things. And, and we go on date nights every week too. So yeah. <laughs> that's changed a little bit now. It's changed. <laughs> Where do we go for date night? <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're going to the kitchen. <laughs> well, and you know what, honestly, it's, you have to come up with compromises, right? right? So on Monday we, I got home from work and we, the two of us went and took Luna to the dog park for a walk. Right. So is that a, is that an official date night? No, we never really talked about it until right now, but it's spending time with each other and we had time to talk and things like that. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's connecting. Right. So um, yeah, that's it. I think. Yeah. You can't work stop on working on it. I tell my girls that touching too. my face again, touching my, I feel like I have something in my eye. When you stop day. working on it is when things fall apart. Yeah. That's so. the truth. Your wife's better looking. She is. Thanks. <laughs> She, she put makeup on just for you guys. I, I She's not. like, I am not doing this Facebook live thing. And it's she went Facebook. upstairs, or sorry, YouTube live. <laughs> Maybe they'll, they'll demonetize my video because of that. Yeah. Um, How dare you say Facebook? <laughs> when was the last time you smacked him for a comment? Okay. What? <laughs> when was the last time you smacked him for a comment? Um, Northwest, this may have been covered already, but have you had many customers request to leave the order on the front doorstep? Uh, yeah, it's uh, so on Saturday, that was my last busy shift. Um, that's the video, the last video that was posted. I think there was, I think I did eight deliveries on that Saturday, and I think there was two or three uh, that were no contact orders. So um, my shift yesterday, I only did, I'll, I'll spill the beans, I only did one order. So um, I'm sure it'll be more, more prevalent as, as things change. Um, Raider Rich, I once had a male customer answer the, the door with his shirt off and told me that he could beat me up if he wanted to. <laughs> wow. 
thanks, here's your food. <laughs> like, like, really? Yeah, and? <laughs> that's funny. Happy wife, happy life. No, no, that's not true. It's so true. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Talk for a second. I have a meme to find. <laughs> Actually, no. This guy's like the woman in the relationship. Hey, be nice. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> He's very sensitive and very in tune to emotions and feelings. It's a good thing. Yeah. Keep talking. Uh, what are you looking for? This awesome meme. I actually saved it to my phone because it was so um so pertinent to that that comment happy wife happy life which isn't true answer the questions <laughs> okay uh... dun 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 i know it's here somewhere maybe it's not <laughs> Oh, here you go. Found it. What does it say? Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right? I, I agree. Happy wife, happy life. Nope. What does it say? Happy spouse. I can't even read it. Happy house. Happy spouse, happy house. Men, hashtag men need to be happy too. Ha! See? <laughs> My point exactly. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if you could change one thing about skip the dishes, what would it be? Um, I would love to go back. I got to keep looking up here. I keep looking at my face and it must look funny. Look at the green dot. If I could change one thing about skip, it would be going back to the system that we had um, from when I started to the beginning of 2019, where we could see the breakdown of the order. Um, I liked that a lot. And if you guys are new skip drivers, um, we used to be able to, so the order would come in, you'd look at it and it would say $4 for delivery, $4 for tip. Um, that's it, right? So you could look at it and say, awesome, they tipped. Uh, sometimes the orders would come in and say $4 for delivery, zero tip, decline, right? Uh, so if we could do that, that's one thing I would change and also get rid of the stupid acceptance rating thing. Um, what if, oh, what do you do if the food order is too big and cannot fit in the two bags? That's a good point. Um, so anytime I go out, I've got my DoorDash bag with me as well too. So DoorDash, they give you a little, uh, a little red bag. That's like the size of a shopping bag ish. Um, you can also, I think I paid $20 for it, buy a, a massive bag. So you could actually take the, the skip, the square cube skip bag, and you could put that in the, the DoorDash bag two times. So any, and it's all, and it's red. Um, anytime I go out, I've got my DoorDash bags with me as well too, even if I'm not doing DoorDash. So if I got a big order, I would just go in all, all of my bags. And I know Josie, who's a regular here, uh, one time she got a, an order, um, uh, where was it? It was at the burrito place. Uh, I think it was Mucho Burrito. And uh, it was huge, right? It was going to an order uh, place downtown and she had to put all the stuff in all of her bags. So um, that's what I do. But uh, who wears the pants in the relationship? I think it's shared. It is. Yeah, we're definitely not... Uh, You know that, and this actually brings up a good point with the relationship too. I get a little bit offended. <laughs> this is me being sensitive. I get a little bit offended when I get pigeonholed in, into the normal male, um, what is it called? Role? Yeah, I guess, right? Like Or generalization? Yeah, the, the normal male generalization, right? Everybody everybody assumes that the, you know, the guy comes home and he sits on the couch and watches sports and doesn't clean the house and big rough and tough and all that stuff. Right. And I'm like, I couldn't be further from that. Right. Mm -hmm. Like 
I don't watch sports really ever. Um, can't oh, stand. There's like a good football yeah, game of or hockey game on. Like I'd, I'd rather watch it with you. I'm not going to sit down and watch it by myself. No, yeah, it's stupid. Um, not the sports, but anyways, in my opinion, it's dumb. It's a waste of time. But um, I would rather be doing something. I don't just sit on the couch. I, I struggle with sitting on the couch and, and doing nothing. I'd rather be doing something productive. Uh, unless I'm really tired, then I'll sit on the couch. But uh, that lasts for about 30 seconds, yeah. and then he's asleep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. true. You know, so that that generalization. I vacuum the house. I do laundry. Um, you know, so that that kind of stuff pisses me off. So, anyways, who wears the pants? We we both wear the pants. I don't wear the skirt though. She sometimes she wears the skirt, not me. <laughs> so, um, appreciate your honesty. You're welcome. So William said, I've been married 12 years. My relationship is not perfect, but we make it work. That's all you got to do, man. No That's relationship's perfect. Nobody, yeah. Nobody's perfect. <clears throat> no relationship is perfect, but you just, you just make it work. Ryan, you two are so lucky. I had a 10-year relationship and she cheated on me twice with guys in their 50s. Ouch, buddy. That's brutal. <sighs> See that? Yeah. That stuff's hard to recover from. Um, Josie, how long do you think we'll be self-isolating because of the beer issue? <clears throat> well, our kids' school is out until September, so. Yeah. I I'll pull know. up a photo I, I took today. I sent this to you. So there's a YouTube um, channel. I think it's called Roy Lab Stats or something like that. So this popped up on my feed today. And uh, it's basically a minute by minute update on what's going on, right? So you could sit there and you could have this up on your YouTube and watch this. And uh, even right now, this was taken probably at one in the afternoon. I think I can't remember when, but if you go on there now, it's uh, probably at, uh, I know when I left work today, it was at like 218,000 cases worldwide. Um, it, it'll be on YouTube. <clears throat> but anyways, the, the point of this is, you know, you look at some of these countries, like the ones that are, are top on this list, you've got China at 80,000 uh, cases, Italy at 35,000, Iran, Spain, Germany, France, all around 10 to 15,000. Um, the numbers keep going down, right? So for us, I know the, the self-isolating and the shutting things down is really to, to, to try and prevent the beer thing from um, getting that same curve as these other places. But uh, I think it's only just begun, guys. Um, I don't know. This is different. Yeah. So, you know, it's in my mind here, it's only just begun. I think in uh, in all my research about this, we're getting about the, the average is about 25% of the number of cases increased every single day. So as a, my example to that is if you have 100 cases in Alberta right now, uh, tomorrow it should be 25% more. So it'll be 125. Oh, yeah. And if you, uh, the next day it's 25% more of the 125, right? So that's why you see that curve go up. So Katie just pulled that up as an example. So my app says 217,000 and change. <clears throat> and there's the current one, right? So, um, Two. 19 something yeah so total deaths was what 8971 and earlier this afternoon the total deaths was 8904 so my honest opinion and of course you guys have to do what you think is right you have to believe what you think is right we all have our own options and own choices in this matter but um i think it's only just begun for us and i think it's going to get worse before it gets better um, I think over the next couple of weeks, we'll see um, a lockdown very similar to what Italy has going on. Uh, when you look at Britain, um, they had kids still in school. I think they're really close to shutting down the schools. So I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. Um, so self-isolating, uh, how long? I don't know. I, honestly, I think we'll be in a quarantine lockdown here in, at least in the next week. Um, if that happens, things get real bad, um, because nothing can be open. 
and uh, martial law comes into effect. And if that all happens, our entire, everything shuts down except maybe the grocery stores and a couple essential services, but it, uh, it gets pretty serious. So I hope it doesn't get to that. I hope that we see those graphs go like this and back down. That would be awesome for everybody, including all you guys watching this, including me and my family and, and everybody else uh, in the world, really. But uh, I don't I don't think it's going to happen. So um, TLD, I've seen some people use the bags or oh, not use the bags. They just put the food on the seat. I think it's terrible. Um, when I see people and I did a video on this, I think the video was titled uh, close your bag, I believe is what I titled it. Like, I remember that I was, I picked up, I think it was from Earl's in, uh, on 130th here in Calgary. I picked up from them, came out. And I think the guy came in just as I was going out, he was talking on his cell phone on, on speakers. So he was holding his phone like this, like having a conversation with somebody. And then I sat there cause I was filming the little slip snippet on my video and I touched my face again. And, uh, and he comes out and his bag's wide open. So he's got a skip bag, the lid's open, the bag, the, the Earl's bag is sitting there like, come on, man, close your bag. So it, it drives me nuts because it makes all of us look bad, right? If I get a skip order, if I put in a skip order and, my, and I don't drive for skip the dishes uh, and my driver shows up and let's say it's the first skip order I ever did, right, as a customer and my driver shows up and my food's cold, the bag's wide open, that would drive me nuts. And I probably would never order from Skip the Dishes again, which means we don't get any orders. Um, so it, it's not a not a, a happy spot for me at all. Um, I was thinking another thought with that, but I can't remember. Poof, gone. Just like that, gone. Jeez. Oh. Yes, yeah, so that, that uh, the question about how many bags um, what, how, what do you do if your bags are full? So I was talking about Josie. Uh, yeah, it was a mucho burrito order, just confirming $400 worth of food and it filled all five bags. Mm, mucho burrito would be good right it now. It would be good right now. <laughs> and, uh, I think the place that she was delivering it to didn't even need the food anymore. Cause the thing, the people were done or the conference or the meeting they had was done. Yeah. She got there and they were all gone. <laughs> so crazy. Did eh? you get to keep it? No, I think she left it. Yeah. I'm at Sharma. How you doing? Uh, I'm still waiting for my registration to get completed. A skip is not wanting any new couriers in Brampton. Crazy, eh? You should try wearing the skirt. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Might get demonetized for showing the screenshot on your phone. Yeah, no kidding, eh? I don't think it says anything, but yeah. Uh, here in the Bay Area, all of California, all the restaurants are closed except for takeout and delivery. DoorDash is making a killing. It'd be nice if it came to that. Oh, crap. It says that, doesn't it? Well, we've also said it. I know, by accident. <laughs> by maybe accident, maybe so. it's just, maybe they'll, maybe because the video is so long, I just touched my face again. They won't uh, demonetize it, but whatever. Um, I hope it gets to that. I hope it's really, really... <laughs> Bad choice of words. They're making a nice profit. That's funny. Well done. What safety measures am I using? So I've got... Uh, oh. Ow. Man, I'm getting old. <laughs> I sit with Over my legs 40, crossed. Baby. I know. So I carry these with me. Um, so basically when I... When I go into the restaurant, I come back out. I, I, uh, my camera's recording at that point. I pull one of the hand sanitizer wipes out. I wash my hands. I will usually wipe down my phone as well too. And uh, every once in a while I wipe my steering wheel down as well. So that's basically what I've been doing. Uh, and then distancing as well too. Like when I, when I do show up to a customer's house, um, I mean, I'm not hugging them of course. But uh, most people are pretty aware of it now. So you're just, you know, giving them, giving them the bag and uh, avoiding being as close to them as possible. That's really all I'm doing. Um, I guess it's, 
I don't know if that's enough, but it's I feel like it's enough. I guess if those people, there was another comment before about are people asking to have their stuff just left there mm -hmm. more so now than they were before? Like, do you find that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like for sure. Like that option that they put on there? Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, it's and and I think it'll be more it's going to be more and more common, right? You know, like I think maybe tomorrow if it's actually a busy night for me, probably going to be 50% of the people, but some of the people don't care. Right? Like and some some of the people are like whatever, it's like having the flu and the symptoms are mild, so Do you ring the doorbell? Yeah. Just like It's like Amazon then. Yeah. They just ring the doorbell, put the package and go. Exactly. I like it. That's okay. With the comments earlier. <laughs> Unless was, you're collecting cash. <laughs> yeah. Well, and there's no cash orders right now. Oh, okay. So there's yeah. no contact, right? So they've turned the cash cash orders off. So um, Ryan said, DoorDash is slow here. Skip was slow tonight. Uh, Josie said, when I get a food delivery that's not delivered to me out of a closed bag, one star rating and touch my face again. It's ridiculous. Yes, it is. Uh, it is insane. Um, not not a fan of that at all. Uh, Negus, no, that wasn't a repeated question at all. That's actually good. Thank you. Mike Sand, want to do a live call? And I don't even know if that's possible. Um, is it true that the highest level of Patreon gets... <laughs> gets one a ride on, <laughs> on opportunity. Yes, hey, sure. That would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is funny, actually. I have I have nobody that's donated to the Patreon thing yet. I set it all up, and I was like, this is kind of stupid because you do you do some research on this stuff. Like anytime I introduce something, guys, touching my face again, I do research on it. Like, um, and the Patreon thing, I was like, well, whatever. It seems like the thing to do, so I'll just set this Patreon thing up. And nobody's donated to it yet, so I was actually gonna, I was gonna ask Katie to go on there and donate because I can't do it myself. So. I don't even know what it is. It's like crowdfunding. So there's a Patreon link, so people can go on there, and you can offer different things, right? So like, if somebody donates ten dollars, you could have. Um, a special website that's lots of different op options, right? Oh, cool. So you can do whatever you want. So that's what it is. There's some people that make lots of money on Patreon. So, oh, what I was going to do for Patreon is anybody who um, who donates through Patreon, I was going to put their name in, in credits at the end of the video for everybody, unless you don't want your name on the end, the end of the video. But uh, that's that was what I was going to do. But that's a, a good ride idea. Along is fun. A ride along is fun as long as you're not weird and crazy. But it's got to be a, a substantial amount, like not a dollar. It's got to be more than that. <laughs> so, how do we know that they're not weird and crazy? <clears throat> I know that's background check. Um, how do they know we're not weird and crazy? Well, true. <laughs> but I think they can see it. We are weird and crazy. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. What did I wasn't listening? What did you say? See, I was reading the comments. I said we are weird and yeah, crazy. Yeah, of course. Everybody's weird and crazy. <laughs> I need to sit on my hands. No kidding. But then I can't scroll through the comments. Um, so Connor asked, how's coronavirus? Oh, dang it. I said it. How's the beer virus affecting me? Us. And you touched your face. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. <laughs> oh, gross. Ooh, that stinks. Um, I'll get a little bit personal here, guys. Your phone's going to die. Um, it, it is affecting us. So um, obviously our, our family's affected by the, uh, the beer virus. Um, but uh, on, a, on a work front, um, we, I work in the construction industry. And... Um, so a lot of our builders that we do work for, um, they've they've shut the doors recently, and of course it's not permanent, but um, they've they've shut the doors right, and this is all happening at a at an extremely fast pace. Like it's since Monday, it's it's changed dramatically, and um, so with with our builders, which is our customers essentially, shutting the doors, um, we have to do important things. So 
Um, there's a service side. Our, the company I work for has lots of different facets. Um, one of the facets has a service side. So 50% uh, of those employees were laid off today. Um, if things get real bad, um, I, I know there's going to be more layoffs and it's just temporary layoffs until things change. But um, if things get real bad, the entire office could be shut down and everybody, including myself, could be on unemployment, uh, which, which sucks. So it does suck, but it's, it's the nature of things right now and we have to be okay with it. And uh, I mean, I'm not going to sit in the corner and cry about it and be upset. I'm going to do my best to, uh, to press forward and make sure my family is, is okay. And uh, hopefully we can just press through and make it all work. But I think understanding that it's not, not just us in this situation, mm -hmm. it's like everybody, literally, like yeah. it, it affects everybody <clears throat> some way. Um, and there are tons of people like losing their jobs or stores are closed or, or whatever. So, um, you know, I guess it's, you just have, yeah, there, I mean, there's nothing that we can do about it other than stay positive and just take one day at a time. And yeah, I mean, there, there's a few things that I, I wish we had in our life right now. Number one, I wish we were, we were debt free and mortgage free when I say debt free. Um, Cause then going on, on EI, I mean, EI, basically, the, the max EI you can make, I think, is about $2,000 a month. That's it, right? So, you know, I actually am a little bit envious of the people that have a little bit more simple life, right? Ha maybe live in an apartment and pay $1,000 a month in rent or something like that, um, because our life is not like that, right? I mean, we've got a, we've got a fairly big house, um, three girls, um, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely, and, and that's what I'm, what I'm talking about, I guess, is it's not just the low income people that are going to be affected. It's everybody, mm -hmm. you know, and even people that maybe make more money than us, um, you know, they might have a, a $10,000 a month mortgage payment, which whatever, that's, that's the way they live their life. But how are they going to pay for that if they lose their job? Right. So, you know, it's not just this category of people that are affected by this it's everybody it's all in relation yeah like it's, it's all it's it's the city it's it's your country it's the world yeah. um so it, it definitely it kind of sucks right now but uh anyways um jason said oh, touch my face again skip's been fire here for me made 500 since monday holy crap good job jason where are you located i'd be interested to uh to know that um Nice to see you. Nice to have you on the chat. Question for you, Katie. Do you prefer me with a stash beard or clean shaven? Uh, I like him more clean shaven, but like this. That's okay. <laughs> um, like the shadow. What is it called? Five o'clock shadow. Five o'clock shadow. Like the little rustic bits there i like that That's and since i shaved my beard off i've only actually put a razor to my face once because what? it hurts so bad oh so I, what i've been doing is um use like you know the hair trimmer uh on the lowest setting i've been like just using the hair trimmer and so i always have that five o'clock shadow and now it's like a couple days but uh um if I use a razor on my face, like I, there was such a long period there of me not shaving that uh, it, it's terrible. And I don't shave with like the, the Gillette Mach 5. I use a straight blade razor, the old fashioned, you know, barber soap and all that kind of stuff to combat that. But uh, it's been pretty terrible. So I'm kind of working my way into it. But I want to, I think I might grow my beard back anyways. No. Yeah. <laughs> We're like in, a, in, in an apocalypse. And I'm not, I'm not cutting my hair anymore. I'm just going to let it grow. Duck Dynasty? Yeah, Duck Dynasty beard. Just let it go. <laughs> You'll have to get some camo. Heck yeah. <laughs> and some, some doe ester. Some what? Doe ester. I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, deer piss. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doe. Yeah, I get it. Uh, Jason's in Ontario. It's getting real. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, Ralph, need a change to our for every face touch. 
then you'd have to touch the change. Exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, oops. Uh, so Niga said, I do delivery for a restaurant. My boss, uh, franchise owner is very affected by the, this virus. We don't have much people dining in. Yeah, I can imagine. And deliveries from Skip the Dishes and DoorDash are very low due to this. Yeah, and I think that's big restaurant, small restaurant. Everybody's in the same boat. So um, one of my workplaces shut down. But yeah, the movie theaters, for now it's closed. Other job is staying open. Yeah, I think you work, yeah, grocery stores where Connor works. I don't think that's ever going to shut down. So that's a, look at that. That's a good thing. Okay. <laughs> Full hawk. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. <laughs> um, that sucks. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It sure does. Oh, I, we're not, Negus, we're not mortgage free. I said I wish we were. Um, it's it's our only real big debt, but it's uh, it's a big debt. So that's terrible. Um, Jason's in London, Ontario. Yeah, two hours from Toronto. Two point five hours. <laughs> Could you do skip my and get mom's EI? From London. Your mom's from London. Your family's from London. Yeah. Oh. Um, if you're doing just skip, you won't be able to collect EI unless you're paying into it voluntarily because you don't get taxes taken off and you're and not you paying pay into EI. EI. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Unless you unless you voluntarily unless do it. Yeah. yeah. Um, the public started freaking out over the beer here and lots of leave it at the door notes. Yes. Um, dun, dun, dun. I had a person say buzz the apartment number and leave the food in the lobby. Wow. That's weird. So their neighbors walking by, Hey, look, yeah, a free bag <laughs> of food. What's this? You better make sure that you, <laughs> he beats you down there. Weird. Like, this is what I don't understand. Yeah. Because it's like, come, come up to your apartments bag. and put it in front of your, well, here's the thing. What if somebody is sick that's preparing the food right like you don't know yeah and you're worried about the delivery person yeah putting the like touching the same bag as you at the same time like you're not shaking hands you're not doing any of that like you're not contacting the person yeah, directly exactly you it's know? weird but we're worried that much about it silly um Okay, guys, we're, this is the longest one we've ever done. It's fun having you on here. Uh, so while you're at home, Netflix and chilling, what movies do you recommend? I rec recommend the Anything top action. zombie movies, Zombieland, Shaun of the Dead, World War Z, but which ones are on your schedule? I just finished Pandemic the other morning, so I usually go to the gym uh, at my office and work out. Are you and, allowed to say uh, that word? Pandemic? I hope so. Oh, no, I didn't watch. It wasn't Pandemic. It was something else. It must be history. Oh no! What's that other one that we just watched? No, it's it's the one with Lock and uh, Key. It's the one with Matt Damon. If you haven't seen the Lock and Key series on Netflix, it's good. We just finished that one too. I'm not a TV person. Mm, Contagion. Yeah, I just watched Contagion. Well, that mm. sounds good. No, it's, it actually is really good. It made me feel better about everything that's going on. Because it came out like nine years ago. But uh, it's, it's actually... supposed to be real? It's based on a real story, yeah. But uh, yeah, when you watch it, it's like, oh yeah, that, that's cool. This whole beer, vi uh, beer thing will just figure itself out. It will eventually, yeah, but I don't want to be watching movies on it. Yeah, it's funny. Um... Oh, we have Walking Dead to watch, too. Though. I know. We've got lots of episodes, don't we? Yeah. That's funny. That's a little foreshadowing on the episode for tomorrow. What? <laughs> it's funny. You should watch it. Um, I think it's funny, the no interaction orders. I mean, I touched your bag of food to place it at your front door. Yeah, exactly. That's why. Exactly. Like, I don't get it. I don't get why. Exactly. <laughs> Better call Saul. Yeah, I'm sure that's a good one. I liked uh, Breaking Bad. 
That was fun. I mean, I watched Breaking Bad a long time ago, but that's where Better Better Call Saul oh, Better one on Call Amazon. Saul came from. Uh, Amazon Prime. Who was it? What was his name? Oh. Remember the one with the the guy? That guy. And he was like used to be in the military, but then he was changed like the money thing. Jack Ryan. Oh yeah, that was a yeah, good one too. Yeah, that was a good series. Yeah, that's on Prime. Yeah, Amazon Prime. Prime, Prime yeah. Video. That's a good one. Yeah. <clears throat> Breaking Bad's amazing. Yes, you've never watched it, have I've you? Never oh my it. gosh, that was so good. So I good. I don't watch TV. Like I don't watch TV either. That's Netflix. Okay, I don't watch Netflix usually. Like, oh, been, that's all you've been because doing. Because we're stuck inside. <laughs> yeah, don't let the girls watch Breaking Bad. It's not a good thing for them to watch. Oh, no, like there's nothing else to do. I mean, I've cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned some more. And then you sit down and they're, what do you do? You put on Netflix because, you know. Every time oh. I come home, that's all you guys are doing. <laughs> and we literally just turned it on. Oh, we played D&D &D as a family. Yes, we fun. did. We played Dungeons and Dragons as a family. That was a blast last weekend. <clears throat> All right. So I think that's it, guys. It's been the longest live video ever. That's cool. It's fun. Um, Any other questions? Yeah. Any other questions? Going once, going twice. Oh, here they come. If you're looking for a laugh, there's 50 episodes of Family Feud. That's awesome. That's cool. I like that show. Ghost Team is really funny. Yeah, I like Family Feud as well, too. I like the... The one with the new guy, Harvey, whoever his name is. Awesome. Okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, next time you see me, I might have a big, long beard and long hair. It gets really curly. It's funny. Um, okay. <laughs> so that's it. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, if you actually watched to the very end of this and you are not on the live, um, congratulations. That's a long video, an hour and 20 minutes. Well, here comes Luna. A um, couple of things for you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Give video a thumbs up. When you do hit that subscribe button, hi, Luna. You want to say hi? Hi. Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Also, guys, we have a Facebook group called The uh, the Lighter Side. Um, feel free to hop on Facebook and join it if you wish. And uh, I think that's it. So thanks so much for watching tonight. Have a great day, great evening, wherever, whenever you're watching this, guys. Um, stay safe. Do what's right for you. Do what's right for your family. And uh, we'll make it through. <laughs>